I'm going to show you how to set up Aptana Studio 3, which is an excellent HTML editor. It also includes an FTP client and will allow you a lot of really neat tools to help you write better code. I've downloaded and installed this on my Mac. It also exists for the PC and it is free. Since it's installed on my Mac, I'm going to click on it to launch it. I've reset it. I'm trying to set it up so it's appearing to be for the first time. I've practiced it a couple of times. The first thing you do is you set up a workspace. I'm just setting up as my documents because any projects I create will be in my documents folder and we're going to create a new project. I'm going to go ahead and check to use this as the default because this is a very generic folder and any projects would come under my documents area. And then I'm going to hit OK. And this is what we see by default when we first start the program. We're going to create a project and I'm starting fresh for the CIS 142 class. So I'm going to create a project and I'm going to choose web project and I'm going to hit next. I'm going to call my project CIS 142. This creates a new folder in my documents folder. I don't want to use the name of an existing folder because it could overwrite there. So if you have work in an existing folder, choose a new folder for starting. Create a new folder. And then I'm going to hit next. And we're just going to use the basic web template. And I'm going to hit finish. By default, it will start with an index page for me, which will ultimately be set up with links to all of our pages. And you can see the different types that we have down here, where we can expand head, meta tags, we have a outline view. There's lots of neat things about this software, but there are a few things that I find irritating. In here, if I hit enter a few times, you may or may not have these white spaces showing by default. I find them irritating, so if you have them and they irritate you, you can turn them off. Another thing I'm not the biggest fan of is the black background. I think it's actually nice because it saves some energy because less pixels are lit, lit up, but I want to make this as easy as possible for my viewers to see on screen. So I'm going to change my color theme and I'm going to do that here. There's lots of them so we can have like Dreamweaver. We can have Mac Classic which is pretty close to Dreamweaver. I work in Dreamweaver all the time so I'm going to use the Dreamweaver one so all the colors are what I'm used to seeing and then I'm going to change my font. Now this is completely up to you if you want to change font. I like to have a sans serif font and I'm trying to make this as easy for my students to read as possible. So I'm going to go with I want a sans serif. I want Verdana, Verdana or Ariel. Let's try Ariel. I'm going to change it to a size 14. Close this and hit apply. All right, I've picked those because actually in web design, Arial is one of the easiest fonts to read. Anything being read on the screen should be a sans serif, and I've set this to a 14 point 
Uh, I think I'm going to make it just a little larger. We'll try 16, and you'll notice I can customize it here. Close this. Apply. Okay. Now, I don't actually recommend that for everybody who's just programming, but I do want this to be easy for you guys to read when I'm working in the environment. Now, we'll also have to set up where we can use FTP to upload this. So I've got this set up as my index. And let's go ahead and preview what would actually show up here on the web page. Oops, we have to save it first. So I'm going to save this. And now I'm going to preview it. Where you see the double carrots here, show preview editor, new web project page. Okay, I want to modify this. I want the title to be Mary Winchester Web Scripting Samples. And I will make my H1 tags my in the body again. Mary Winchester. And we'll just say web scripting. And again, I want to save this. And I want to close this preview so we get a fresh one and hit the preview button again. And there we go. Mary Winchester web scripting. Now I'm going to want to upload this. And it has several options up here. I'm going to choose Publish. And there's a wizard to help you set this up the first time. So I'm going to run my web deployment wizard. And we're going to use the FTP protocol and hit Next. And I'm going to call this Web Scripting. And my server is mccdgm.net. And you don't need to put any further folders here because when I create your account, it limits you to your folder by your username. So my username is Mary Wynn at mccdgm.net. My password is dot 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 dot. And I want to test this. Okay, it's successful. Don't automatically sync changes because you always want to test things when you save them so you can revert back to the prior version by downloading it. So do not check that. I'm going to hit finish. And now here I have the option to upload. And then I can test that by going to mccdgm.net Mary Wynn. Let's see if I can pull that web page in here. And you can see mccdgm.net Mary Wynn. I have uploaded my first page. So go ahead and set up your FTP, change your settings so you're comfortable working with this, and then we will keep going forward.